four-way switch demonstration. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn off demo switch. Okay. Alexa, turn on demo switch. Okay. Hey, what's up? Nasir Malik here. Welcome to another exciting tutorial. Uh, this is uh, part three of, of three-way, four-way switching. And uh, uh, before I get into it, uh, I just want to let you guys know, check out my channel for other videos. Uh, I'm working on uh, a lot of other projects, and I would appreciate your feedback. And um, if you guys can leave in comments who would you like to see in future videos and stuff. And uh, to show my appreciation, what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, uh, some of these video on and off I'm gonna be giving some free stuff away so for this video I'm going to be doing a, a raffle so I'm gonna give away two node MCUs uh, they have the ESP8266 E12 chip on them so I'm gonna do a drawing and select some lucky winners and give these two node MCUs uh, away for free and I'll ship them to you free uh, what's the catch well the catch is uh, I really need your feedback so if you can leave comments below uh, this video and let me know what you like and what you don't like and also um, uh, subscribe to the channel so to win these you need to be a subscriber and also leave some comments uh, regardless of the comments uh, if it's in negative and positive feedback uh, that will help me to improve my videos and channel so I appreciate it so we're gonna do a drawing um, so I'll probably do a drawing like a 30 to 50 uh, uh, comments uh, every time we hit like you know the first 30 to 50 comments I'll do a, a drawing for this one and then another uh, 30 to 50 comments so like say um, close to 100 I'll do the second one and also I want to say a special thank to a really special helper uh, for this project uh, my daughter Shmaila Malik uh, she helped me a lot so you need to go to github to get the code for this project I will include the link in the video description and uh, this is the sketch you need to download. It has two files. You need this sketch to uh, flash your node MCU. So here are the components you're going to need for this project. You need node MCU, Amazon Echo Dot, a current sensor. I need three to five volt uh, current sensor will be uh, good. Single channel relay and uh, micro USB cables. So word of caution, uh, we're gonna be working with 110 volt uh, electricity and uh, it's a high voltage um, so it's pretty dangerous so if you don't know what you're doing please get a help uh, somebody who can uh, help you with that who knows how to work with the mains 110 volts or uh, whatever high voltage electricity you're working with so this is a typical um, a household switch with the uh, toggle switch on and off and this uh, um, picture I'm using the uh, three-way switch but usually uh, you only have two poles if it is not a three-way switch it's a toggle switch uh, so the basic uh, concept is the electricity flows through here and based on the position of the switch uh, on or off um, the electricity flows through and it turns the device in this case the bulb on so we're going to turn this into a three-way switch with Alexa how do we do that very simple so here is the actual diagram that we're going to follow. So basically what you do is the wire, hot wire that is coming and connecting to this pole, single pole right here on the bottom. You uh, unhook that wire and um, put your wire through this uh, sensor uh, and connect it. Um, I have my uh, picture wrong here. The arrow should be pointing that way. And so you need to point the arrow the way the current is going to flow and um, so this is very simple on here we're done uh, with this step so next step is you unhook the wire from here that is hooked up and you put that wire into the middle pole which is a common pole of the relay and uh, and then you take another wire and then um, take 
that wire and hook up to this pole which is by default if the relay is turned off uh, this pole is uh, connected to this uh, common pole so put that wire um, in this pole and connect it to the pole you took the the device wire off and the other uh, pole on the relay goes into the other side on the three-way switch and that is the simple setup from the high voltage side so now let's hook up um, each of these um, items to our uh, node MCU so on the current monitor side you need to hook up the signal to A0 which is GPIO 17 and a ground wire goes from the current sensor to ground on the relay side you hook up the negative to the ground and positive to the 3 volt and signal wire goes to D4 and this is the GPIO I'm using you can use any one of them make sure remember to change it in your sketch and that's it once you flash your sketch and you can control um, your um, light bulb or device whatever you hacked up uh, from here or from here um, regardless and uh, what's the difference between this tutorial and the last one which is a uh, tutorial to uh, part two for the three-way switch if the board goes bad uh, you lose total control of how to control the device from manually or from here but with this you're able to control it for manual switch regardless if uh, this board is working or not uh, but uh, this board can detect if you turn it on from here or off from here and then it can uh, based on that it can uh, route the electricity to the device to turn it on and off so let me just plug this in and show you what it is so I have extension cord right here I'm plugging this in and it's a, a light bulb 110 volts with a switch and a plug in here so once I turn it on I can toggle it on or off so as you can see so in this tutorial what we're going to do a little bit different what we did for our three-way switch on the last tutorial to make this a three-way switch here are some of the parts we'll be using I'll be using this uh, current meter and a, a mechanical relay uh, for this and also a node MCU board uh, to um, uh, flash a sketch that will work with conjunction with relay to do a, a three-way switching on this device and once we do that we're going to implement the same process for four-way switching so I have uh, uh, the, the other um, toggle switches set up uh, that I'll bring later on in this tutorial and then I'll show you how to do this uh, but I want to explain the concept first to make sure you guys understand how is it different from my tutorial 2 so because the tutorial 2 uh, there was an issue where if the ESP board or node MCU whatever you're using if it's blown there's no way to uh, control your device manually or from the uh, ESP module but in this uh, tutorial I'm showing you how you can wire it differently so even if your ESP module or the node MCU is malfunctioning you can still you be able to operate your manual uh, way three-way or four-way switch uh, without any issue so let's get started on this one so first thing we're going to do we're going to take uh, the hot wire that is coming from the plug to the switch we're going to take this off we're going to take this current monitor and the arrow make sure it's pointing to the way the current is going to flow current is going to be flowing from this uh, plug to this switch so I'm going to keep the arrow this way so this current uh, meter has a, a little hole in it um, so you need to run a wire through it uh, so it can sense uh, the current flowing through the wire so I have two more wires that I'll be using to hook this relay up to this uh, switch. So the way it's going to work is uh, the middle one right there, the middle um, uh, c connector on this uh, relay, uh, it's going to go to the device you want to control. So in this uh, case, the device is your uh, bulb. So I'm going to unplug this from the, or unscrew this from the, uh, plug right there and I'm going to put that 
in the center here. So any device you want to control, you need to plug into the middle one. And then, make sure you fasten it tightly so it doesn't come out while you're t testing because it'll be live. So basically what we did, we the hot wire that was coming from the plug, we unhook it from the switch and we ran the wire through the current meter and then we took the other wire that was going to our device in this case for this bulb we unhook it and then we hook it up to the mechanical relay uh, with the center pole right here so next what we need to do is take this wire that we put the uh, um, the, the meter on the current meter on uh, we need to put that back into the plug where we took it off from so from here so I'm going to put that back in here all right so basically what we did unhook it put the current meter on it hook it back up that's all we need to do on this side okay on the next uh, what we need to do is take another wire piece of wire to cut length we need to hook that into the pole next to the common one so this is a common pole it switches to this side or this side to turn on and off things so we're going to hook it up to this one on the left one and since it's a three-way switch uh, if you have a toggle switch that only has two sides you need to replace that switch with the three-way switch to get this uh, setup to work so I have a three-way switch so I'm working with so uh, for me I'm just gonna go ahead and hook it up on the other side but if you only see two connectors on this side and one ground that means it's a, just a toggle switch uh, you need to replace that so now what are we going to do is uh, So this side is done. All right. So we've got one more wire and then we're done. So we're going to use another similar short wire that we need to put through an other terminal on the relay. On the there you go. And hook this up to our other last pole, which is this one. So, um, so let's recap what we did so far and then we move on. Uh, so basically, if you look at it, it's a very simple uh, setup. Um, so I got, uh, so I know it's a little bit confusing, but it's not really, it seems that way. So let me recap what we did. So we, uh, two wires coming through this plug, one is hot, one is neutral. Neutral, we're going to leave as is, it's going straight to the device right here. Hot wire, we uh, unscrew the hot wire from the switch. We put in our current meter that is going to tell us if the device is on or off. It does that by sensing if the current is flowing or the uh, ratio of the current in the milliamps. So we can tell, hey, uh, uh, if the milliamps are high, that means the device is turned on. Uh, if the milliamps are low, that means the device is turned off and you can measure that once you hook that up to figure out what your threshold is i'm going to be using mine mine is 125 so anything above 125 or close to it that means the device is turned on for this bulb if it is less than that means that the bulb is turned off uh, you need to measure your own uh, whatever device you're hooking to figure that out so next what we did is we unplugged um, the wire from here that was uh, directly this wire right there that was connected to the bulb and we connect it to the the relay in the center, which is a common pole. So next, what we did is the the default uh, pole that is connected to the center pole. Uh, we hook up a wire from there to this place where we took the device wire off or the bulb wire off, and we put another short wire to put it on the other side of the pole right there. That's all we did. So let's see if uh, this setup still works. 
So before you hook up on uh, your um, ESP board or the Node MCU, you need to make sure that this setup works. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm careful when you, because now it's live. So you can see the relay is off. It, it, it's not hooked up to the anything, but you can still control your lights. And that is very important because um, for whatever reason, you know, lightning strike or whatever, you lose your ESP board or the Node MCU or uh, you can't control the relay, you still won't be able to control it um, through your uh, uh, manual switches, uh, which we couldn't do on our this uh, last tutorial. So now we know this setup is working, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring in our uh, Node MCU and hook the um, current monitor. So on the current meter, there are three pins. So you only use two of them. So one is ground right here, and the other one is a signal right there. So I'm gonna hook up two breadboard wires to it. There you go. So what we need to do is to hook this. Uh, the signal one is gonna go into the node MCU a0 which is pin 17 also so let me show you which one it is mm, if you guys can see this um, so on this uh, this is the pin if you're holding it a0 so that's where your um, signal pin from your current meter was go is going to go so the pin on the current meter it's the orange one on my in my case I hooked up so I'm gonna put the orange one on the um, A0 so right here and the other one is going to go to ground so any ground pin that is available here I'm gonna just hook that up so right there so A0 signal pin uh, and ground uh, for the current meter so that's hooked up so next what we need to do is we need to hook up our relay okay so in my case right here um, I have these three wires breadboard wires female to female that I'm going to be using uh, to hook up this relay on the other side so uh, I'm going to use white one for signal so signal goes on to D4 in my case I'm using this in my sketch uh, the red one uh, is going to go to positive, so I'm going to use this one to positive, 3 volts. So on this side there's a 3 volt positive right there, and then the black or um, whatever that uh, gray color is uh, going to the ground, which is right next to it. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up my relay. So in my case right there. If you look at that, um, so white one is signal. So I'm gonna first one is signal right there. In my relay, the first pin is signal. The second one is positive. So I'm gonna put positive in here, which is red. And the gray one is the negative, and it goes in here. It's a very simple setup. You probably, if you follow the previous tutorial, you you, you probably already know how to hook these up. I'm just showing people, you know, so they don't have to go. So now what I need to do is hook up my computer right there. It's coming on. Uh, just careful because it's on. You know, it's, it's a better idea to turn it off for now. I'm going to switch off from here and flash my um, board. And after that, test this so I can tell what's going on with it. Let me see where the LED is on this side. So let me see if I can situate it so you guys can see when the LED is going on and off. I know it's a little messier here. Okay, so this is set up. Okay, so now um, I, I, from my extension cord, I turned it off so I don't want to get electrocuted. So careful. So I got my uh, thing set up here. So for you to flash your Node MCU, you need to press these two buttons to put it in a flash mode and you let it go. There you go. 
and on the sketch side on the sketch side what you need to do is uh, if you're using the same GPI as uh, I'm using then you can you don't need to make any changes here just put in your um, SSID and password which I already put it in and uh, give it a name whatever you want to call it whatever device name kitchen lights or whatever I'm just gonna use demo switch so that's my device name and everything else you leave as is um, and this is the voltage threshold that you measure uh, when you turn your device on uh, you take a look at it in the serial console and then you figure when the light is on what um, milliamps how many milliamps are there and it's for me for my this uh, bulb it's showing 125 and, and, and above is uh, the device is turned on and then low is turned off so I'm gonna go ahead and select the uh, uh, node MCU 12E is already selected. I want to make sure that I select the correct port and I go ahead and I compile and upload. So in a little bit you should see some lights flashing on the node MCU right there. Um, right there. The blue that means it is flashing the node MCU. I don't know if you can see it clearly or not because I'm looking through the camera and it's not okay so it is flashing so I'm gonna wait for it to finish and there you go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on my strip power strip I'm gonna turn it on first before I do anything I'm gonna turn the light bulb on and off and then I'm gonna bring in Alexa echo dot and let me see if I can put it on this side Alexa, discover devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. We're going to wait for her to discover this device. Discovery is complete. I found one smart home device. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. Alexa, turn on demo switch. Okay. So she turned it on this light bulb and I'm going to turn it off. The nice thing about it is, regardless of who turns it on and off she knows that it's on or off and then whatever command you give her she's gonna detect using this meter and then figure out if this device is on or off and she would execute your command accordingly so if you remember she turned it on and now I'm gonna tell her to turn it on again and she would know that it is turned on Alexa turn on demo switch Okay. So as you can see, she switched the device. So she f she figured it out that it is on. So it, she switched the relay. Uh, this is important because this is the only way that we can figure out if the device is on or off. So we know the common pole needs to connect to the left pole or right pole to turn the device on and off. So that means is on and off is based on the manual switch position, which is the same way when you do three-way switching, four-way switching. So this is very simple. So let's move on to. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Uh, so I'm going to. So I'm going to show you how the four-way switch gets set up and how it functions, and then incorporate the same exact circuit that we just built into the four-way switch. So let's do that. So let me 
um, move this stuff away and then let me bring in the components for that and then we'll go ahead and start from there. So here's a typical setup of uh, um, a four-way switch in a household. So you will have a three-way switch, then you'll have a four-way switch and a three-way switch. So regardless of uh, um, regardless of the position of the switches um, on and off on either one of them, you can control uh, this uh, bulb from either from here, from here, from here. You can control this bulb from any one of these switches. You can turn it out you can turn it on from here, you can turn it off from here or here, or you can turn it on from here and turn it off from there or there. So it doesn't matter, you're able to control it in all uh, three switches. So now, how do you incorporate um, uh, Alexa uh, into this uh, four-way switch? It's very simple. Uh, we need to replace this switch with the four-way switch. So we, we, we uh, need to make sure that uh, this four-way switch we need another one of these unhook this one put this in a place and this is what we need to do so once you do that so once you hook unhook the three-way switch put the four-way switch in here uh, you'll hook up the wire same exact way you have it on the previous slides after that only thing changes is from here so what you do is the wire that was going into here from the uh, bulb, you unhook that wire and you run it to the current meter, make sure it's arrow pointing towards the uh, electricity flow, and you put it into the middle pole of the relay. Very simple. You unhook this wire from here and put it in here. Second, you take this side of the pole, hook it up here, Take this side of the pole, hook it up there. Very, very simple setup. And on exactly the same way you hooked it up on the previous slides, the signal goes to A0. It's a little bit off, but it is connected to A0. And the ground goes to the ground. And on the S, uh, is signal is connected to D4, and then positive is to 3 volt, and then negative to the ground. So once you flash the uh, your sketch to node MCU, uh, make sure you use one of these switches to turn on the bulb. Uh, to Before you can control it, you need to make sure uh, you need to figure out what the current uh, level is on this monitor when this uh, bulb is on. So you make sure and once you set everything up, you flash it. So open up uh, Arduino IDE serial monitor and give a command to Alexa say um, turn on or off uh, demo switch and in the console you'll see the value uh, that this monitor is reading so in my case it's reading 17 so I'm going to uh, change my um, the threshold to uh, 16 so that means it's 16 and above uh, means uh, it, the device is on anything below that that means it's off and this is how this um, um, a program would know if this bulb is on and off. So this is a very simple setup. Uh, so let's uh, uh, get that working. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, finally, I hook up the whole um, uh, four-way switch setup. So let me uh, demonstrate first and then walk you through how it gets hooked up. This is one way of hooking it up. Uh, there are other ways you can hook it up. So if you take a look, um, um, so I'm using the same uh, plug with the same device uh, the bulb and uh, the wire the hot wire is in a similar fashion going from here to the first one that we used in the, uh, our previous demo and then it gets hooked up to the four-way switch so this is a three-way switch four-way switch and three-way switch so we're going to be able to turn on and off this bulb for either of these switches and then we're going to put in uh, alexa in the mix mm -hmm. So I'm going to turn this on. So now I can turn it on from here or turn it off from here or turn it on from here or turn it off from here, turn it on for either one. So it doesn't matter. So a lot of the times you see this kind of setup when you were upstairs or downstairs or the, you have two switches and then also in the hallway or in the kitchen you have a couple of switches. So what do I need to do is to hook the same setup we just did for the single switch 
to control Lexa. We're going to bring that. Um, I have this uh, set up already over here. I'm going to bring that into mix. I just want to make sure. All right, guys, I apologize. My camera just fell off. <laughs> so I have to start over again. So, okay, so I wanted to make sure I show you guys how I have it in, in a diagram. I just want to show you how it is hooked up. So if you look at it, I'm going to unplug it so I can you know, walk through the setup. So, so I'm going to unplug this so I don't get electrocuted while explaining you guys. So from the plug, there are two wires coming out. Neutral going straight to the device. The hot wire goes into the first three-way switch. It has a single pole on the bottom, two on the top. So based on up or down, which pole gets hot. In the middle, you have a four-way switch. It has four poles, one, two, three, four. So based on what you have, you know, here coming, it's either gonna go through one of these black wires up to this switch. So turn it on and off. And at the end, you have a three-way switch again. It has two poles on top. So either one is hot or cold. It's gonna uh, direct the current to this pole up to the device, the hot, hot wire. So this goes into the device. So this is very typical setup. Um, setting up so now turn this into uh, work with Alexa um, we need to figure out how to connect this so we need to figure out if the device is on or off so we're going to be using the same um, the uh, current meter these are the same uh, parts that I used to demonstrate on the previous demo with the single switch so for you to use uh, Alexa in a mix I keep getting that turned on right so let me just mute it so to keep this uh, Alexa in the mix what you need to do is to figure out which of the switches is the last one that is hooked up to the device so you will have multiple switches right so you need to figure out which one is hooked up to the device so if you look at the hot wire that's going from this switch to the device this is the switch you need to replace this switch with this is a three-way switch you need to replace it with four-way switch so let me show you. So okay, so I got this switch. Uh, uh, instead of bringing this uh, knob one like this one, I uh, brought uh, this is different type. Uh, it's the same thing as this switch, but only the button is kind of different on it uh, because I need it for another project. So instead of buying the same one, I bought this one. So I'm gonna. So this is a four-way switch. And I'm gonna take out the three-way switch that is hooked up to the device and replace it with this. So let me do that and I'll be back. So I removed this by um, unscrewing the wires from this and this four-way switch is going to come into play. It has two poles on this side and two poles on the other side. Okay, one thing I noticed on this switch right here, I, I thought you hook up the wires here, but it looks like they have holes in them right there. So you cut the wire and you shove it in there and then you tighten your um, screw right here. So I'm going to just test it out, make sure it works without the Alexa. So it works without the Alexa. I got this wire loose, I'm going to be careful turning it on and off. Yep, so this works. So now what we're going to do is bring the this setup in the mix that we did for the last one. So simply I'm going to run the wire through here from the current meter right there and I'm going to put that into the middle of the pole right there as we did for the previous one and fasten it make sure it's tight because I'm using the same setup I already flashed the um, 
uh, flash the um, node MCU so I don't need to redo it let me show you and I'm gonna hook up so this is hooked up to the hot wire that is going into the um, bulb right here so what I'm going to do is now hook up these there's two wires other ones that are coming from the side of this so right and left so I'm gonna hook up on one on either of the terminals one on this side one on this side and we should be ready to go I like to these tutorial I like to do these tutorials with a little more detail but uh I'm really short on time just so busy lately there's just is there not enough time for me to do these tutorial in a lot more detail so I'm now get up with my computer just to power up the thing the first thing you need to do is to uh, flash this sketch to the node MCU and you need to figure out your um device current threshold so basically you need to figure out that so you know at what milli um, amps your uh, device is on or off so the simple way is to um, uh, flash this to your node MCU and hook everything up and turn on the light bulb to make sure the device is turned on and then open up your serial console and you can give it a uh, open up your serial console and give a, a command Alexa turn on demo switch okay so once you see that uh, it's gonna output your current that is uh, uh, detecting your current meter so it is when the bulb was on it basically was 17.3 so it turned off the bulb because we have set to zero so it's not going to function so we know that uh, once it's uh, turned on it's using 17.3 milliamps so we need to uh, use let's say I can say uh, 16 milliamps anything 16 milliamps will be uh, consider your device turned on so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, change that to uh, 16 milliamp and this is important it depends where you hook up your current meter this is gonna change so whatever you uh, configuration you're going to use make sure at the end before you actually add, uh, flash the final sketch in my case now I'm gonna go ahead and flash and show you uh, it's gonna work you need to make sure this is correct so if you change your configuration you need to recheck this and make sure this is accurate so we're gonna go ahead and reflash this so I'm gonna go ahead and put my um, uh, node MCU in the uh, flash mode and I'm gonna go ahead and flash it again and uh, since everything is live over here so make sure you every time you turn it off uh, you don't want to be uh, getting zapped so I'm gonna wait for it to complete uh, flashing my node MCU and then I'll turn it back on careful to touch this okay so it's done so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on so by default, before I do anything to test it with, I want to make sure I, I toggle the switches, make sure all the switches are working. I can turn it on or off from anywhere. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, try that. So, so Alexa, turn on demo switch. Okay. Alexa turn off demo switch okay Alexa turn off demo switch Alexa turn off demo switch okay Alexa turn off demo switch okay Alexa turn on demo switch okay Alexa turn on demo switch okay Alexa turn on demo switch 
Okay. So I think this is it uh, for this tutorial. Um, until next time, bye.